Welcome everybody to another episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I'm Keith. Jeffrey. No, you're not. No, you're Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. I'm Keith. I know. I never remember. Welcome everybody. Glad to have you with us today. Sorry we started a little bit late. We've got kind of some technical things happening. We're out in the uh, secondary shop right now. And uh, we have deliveries still yeah. going. We can't get away from all of the... The noise. The noise. Deliveries, forklifts. So, yeah, we yeah. apologize, but we're, we're on here. Now. We're on, and welcome. Thanks for joining us. As usual, we are going to be answering all of your questions um, in just a little bit. So get those started up, and we're going to get to those as soon as we can. But first, uh, Keith, uh, what's been happening? How was your week? Uh, it's been busy week. Uh, you know, Keith, it's, it's busy you say every, that every week. I know, but it's the truth. <laughs> it's duck hunting season. And when guys have some issues or questions, I'm the man. And you this week, I'm, this week I'm solo because Mike yeah. is out. Mike so, is out. Yeah. Um, guys, be patient with us. We will return your calls as fast as, as I can, not we. And we'll, we'll help you get those answered. But just please be a little patient. So, like you, your stress level, one to ten. What's what are we looking at? A right hundred. A hundred. <laughs> you know, it's 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 tough, Jeffrey, when you're on the phone. And you're looking at your computer monitor, and you can see call after call <laughs> after call. And it makes my anxiety... It makes your anxiety. Yeah. You're, you're just a little uh, red. Like just a little, little red bit, meter, little sure. Yeah, I, it's, it's a little better today, but Monday and Tuesday were... I got gotcha. ...were hectic. And Mondays always are. Mondays always season, are. So. Yeah, But I how about you. you? Anything exciting happen in the last couple of days, or well, today? You know, you know, it was this, okay? You know, last week I had the little situation with the heater. Right. This week it was... It was my car. My car broke. No, not the heater. Not the heater. That would have been okay. I could at least <laughs> have gotten to work if so it how, would just been the heater. No, my battery is dead. Your battery is dead. It's either the battery or the alternator. So how did you, did you, I know you don't live too far. Did you no. ride your bike? Did you hoof it down here? Or did you use one of those? Listen, it was, it was bad enough. I didn't know what to do bad enough that I considered riding my bike. I actually considered it. And then I was like. Hell no. <laughs> I it's got, cold. I got it's so ten, cold what? in the morning. You got five no or ten dollars? I yeah, so I Ubered. I Ubered to work this morning. Hey, how are you getting home? You know what? Uh, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. But it, they were so nice. They just pulled right up front and the car was warm before I got in. I didn't have to I did, did work on my way in. It was awesome. Did they have a cup of coffee for no, you? No, no, no. I Starbucks? did not have any Starbucks. Oh, what a bummer. So they only got four stars because there was no <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> oh, come on, man. The guy probably <laughs> didn't have his coffee cup either. Actually, it was a lady, and was a she lady. was gorgeous. Was it a nice car? It, it was all right. It was a ni- yeah, it was nice. Was it cleaner it, than yours? Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, it was re- it was a nice experience. It was actually very relaxing. Once so you'll I got Uber again, maybe. Maybe because who knows what's going to happen? If it's the alternator, yes, I will be Ubering more. You know, you can always call the shop up, and you live close enough. It's only a, a probably a ten minute turnaround. I, I really do. So you're going to have to come and get me tomorrow. Just, you got my apparently. cell number. Don't give it out to anybody <laughs> else. But you can five five five. Yeah. Five, five, five. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So. Today's show is. We've got, we've got some really fun stuff happening today. Uh, we, we. You get a lot of calls. You've been saying that all day. What is. There's one thing that we hear more often than anything else in these winter months. What is that? My throttle cable's frozen. My throttle cable is frozen, right? So today we are going to talk about throttle cables. Um, we're going to change that out. We're going to we're going to talk about different ways of defrosting them. All sorts of stuff is what we're going to do today. I, Keith, to help you out, I've gone around the shop and I have talked to some of the guys, some of our professionals, to see what their preferred method of defrosting these are. Because these guys actually know what they're doing. I'm, I'm so, excited about that. I so, want to see how they you know, so we're going to do that. Problem. Yes, compared to yours. Yes. To compared to mine. Yes. This so I'm be, excited to see that. Going to so, be a lot you know. of fun. Um, but before we do that, I just want to do a couple of shout-outs. Swiftwater guys are watching. Thanks, Connie and Sean are watching. We love those guys. Uh, they do great work. They've been out. They've been out shooting more than anybody. Yeah, I know. And, and the photos are amazing. It, I know. It makes me like, why am I sitting here and not out there? I know. I know. But they're really great. They've, um, so we're excited. Thanks for watching, you guys. Randall Martin is on. Uh, he says you were a great help. See, they're being so nice to no, you. Everybody R- loves you so much. Randall helped so. a customer of ours out um, last week. I'm um, uh, getting it back on the water, nice. um, and it, it was nice. Randall's done some stuff in the past, and uh, he does a good job. I have nothing but good comments about him from the customers there that he's taking care of. So it makes my job easier when you have shops, uh, service centers that can 
help yes. me help you. Absolutely. Does that sound all right? <laughs> yes. No, that's really great. Um, so very good. Um, Brooks is on. I really appreciate him. Uh, Richard Rouleau. Um, these guys are on um, and more are jumping on every moment. Another thing I do want to say, everybody, like and share. If you uh, enjoyed the show, like it, share it with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube a little bit later, uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, hit the notifications, you know, ring that bell. Some cool things coming to YouTube really, really soon. I know I keep saying that, but yeah. it's happening. I know, nobody really believes you anymore. It, it's yes. happening. I've seen... Actually, it will. It'll be I've later today, actually. I've seen the first, vi- seen the first video that came out. Yes. Um, they did a good job. It was I, nice. I it's agree. It's going to be very Absolutely. informative to yes. our customers and, and our dealers. Yeah, we've been working hard. Lots of fun stuff coming up, so that's really awesome. So... That's uh, that's good. So let's let's dive into this. Oh, I have one more thing that I was going to say. Travis is actually on from BPS. Travis is hi Travis. The best. Hi Travis. Um, he is really great about answering a lot of your questions. He sees these questions come in before we do a lot of the time. Uh, so I just want a big shout out to Travis. Thank you so much for helping out and uh, answering those questions. Also, for us. too, if you have questions about how to blow that duck call and how to do it properly, <laughs> give Travis a call. Give Travis at the a call. shop. Email him at Travis at Backwater. Yes, you could also do that if you were yes. just plain bored. Bored, yeah. You could do that too. You could call Travis because he didn't have anything does, better to do. No, he doesn't. He told me today it was slow. <laughs> we got to try to drum up some business You're welcome, for him. Travis. Yes. All right, let's grab that and let's get started. So, we're going to talk about everybody who is just joining us. Today, we are talking about how to unfreeze your throttle cable. So, nothing worse than zipping across the ice in the water. The, fr- the frozen, the freezed, the freezed, the freezed in water, and your throttle is stuck. You're gonna hit that beach, doing 90. If you're Freddie King, you're gonna hit something. You're and gonna it's hit something. Not gonna, it's not gonna be pleasant. So I, I'm, I'm excited to see what these guys have up their sleeve. Good, speed, good. Because after they're done, <laughs> we'll probably do it the proper way. Yeah. What do you mean? These guys are professionals. Hey, oh, oh, these guys know. I have, I have searched all over this company to find the three best. All right. So I'm gonna bring out. The first one. Now, I'm going to bring out a, a Chase. Now, Chase uh, works in our shop. Come on, come on over here, Chase. Don't be shy, Chase. Don't be shy. Come over and stand next to me right here. Chase knows what he is doing, right? He's done a lot of this. He works really hard in our shop, and he knows exactly how to un. I mean, he he does this for a living. So uh, he, he he puts on throttle cables all, all day, day, every all day. day, every day. That's so his- uh, go ahead and explain to us um, what what you got going on. Me? Or just, yeah, you know, oh, show us, no, demonstrate. Yeah, 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 do no, do us a demonstration. You're going to take this long throttle cable. Well, everybody's out on the cold wait, water, so wait, you got your wait. hot cup of coffee, right? No, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you got a cup, whole, hot cup of coffee. Cup what are you going to do with that? I'm going to dump it right no, down and no, 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 it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. You, no, 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 no. <laughs> get it in the can. Don't get bro. it all over yourself either. <laughs> I don't care about that. It's a clean shop floor. What? That would that work, right? That'll. I don't think that. You know, cup of it, coffee. A cup of you coffee. You want to ring in here with a cup of coffee? You know, you, I, yeah. it, 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 dude, you you said you knew. It may it may help a little bit, but what my fear is with this one, you get the throttle cable where she's moving, yeah, and the boat, and you're flying down the water. Say it's ten below zero, and the throttle cable still has moisture inside. What's it gonna do? It's gonna refreeze. So refreeze. Coffee on. So the coffee, the coffee. You know, it got it unstuck for the moment. The moment. So, Chase, not a bad idea. Kind of liking it. Thanks, bud. You know, okay. okay. Maybe not Maybe not the best option. I apologize. But this next one is surefire. This sure is fire? a surefire way. I, I, I know. Because I've got Trent. I went down and I got Trent. And he knows. I've heard them all. I've heard them all. I want to see it. You want to see I it? I want to see it. I, tr- I trust Trent on this. Okay. I really do. Trent, come, come on, on out, over here. Trent. Show say, us hi to the, say hi to the folks. Hello. All right. Well, when you have no coffee, you have no antifreeze or whatever, yeah, there's only one way to do it. There's only one way to do it. What are you doing? Wait. Hey. hey no, no, man. man. No, wait. Oh, oh. You can't. Why are you peeing? You can't urinate on uh, the throttle cable. Are you peeing? Did you just pee on that? Why? Is there a better way? Come on, Jeff. You told me these guys guys knew what they were doing. The guy spills, he he tries coffee, which, you know, it'll it'll help. And then then somebody, can I talk to Keith, please? I got a problem. Urinating, it's going to do the same thing coffee is. It will get 
you started. It will get you going. Freezing, cold weather, down the lake. Okay, listen. How many times has that actually happened? How many people have you actually talked to that have actually done that? Um, I've heard stories. I don't know of anybody personally. Um, in theory, yes, it will work because it's warm. But it, it, you know, <laughs> I mean, it, but it's still going to do the same thing. You have to get the moisture out of the throttle cable. Yeah, have to. So I see you got okay, another one. Okay, listen, I got one more. I went down and I talked to Ricky. Now you all know Ricky. He helped us out episode one. He knows what's up. Ricky, if anybody are, knows what to do, you're not Ricky. going to do. That. Listen, Ricky, come on, come on out here. You teased it yesterday. You said you weren't going. To. I think he's gonna. I this will work. Oh come on! How many guys run around with their boat with okay. their oxygen acetylene torch okay. to defrost the cable? No, no, Ricky, though, Ricky. Hello, you can't have this on the boat. No, you're I not, do. No, you're not gonna, no, no. Nobody has an acetylene torch. Get that's uh, no, not gonna come work. on, get man. That, get we, that we, out we, of here. We need stuff, that's, Jeff. That's gonna work. This is. This is going to do severe damage. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I trust Ricky. Okay. He knows yeah. what's going on. I, okay. I, I promise. Okay. Let's just see. If anybody could figure it out, Ricky can. Okay. I, I believe. I what's have faith. What's he coming out with now? I'm, I, a little, I'm, I'm nervous. Not, I'm not sure, but I I have a feeling, and I feel <laughs> like maybe we should step back just a little oh, bit. Oh, here we oh, my go. Oh, yeah. Are you a... Uh, what is he doing? I am getting rid of the... He's melting the ice. Ice. Yes. Jesus. Water, plastic, oh, um, so you name it, man. It's getting great of it. You're you're doing the whole nine yards. Now, do you have one of these on your boat? Ah, uh, no, but I'm sure it's been I done with a cigarette lighter or matches. This is fun. Yeah, on, man. I don't that's, think that's working. No, it may work. These guys have no fun. You may get a little moisture out of it because of the heat, but what you're gonna do is expose the cable, <laughs> and then you still got problems. So. The word of the day is preventative. Preventative. The so word of the day, everybody. Preventative. Before it gets cold where you're at, we still have probably another couple weeks, but back in the Midwest, it's starting to get colder. You only need a couple things, Jeff. All right. One, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a mess like these guys did. Got it. So you're just gonna take your throttle cable, and in a few minutes in the show, we will show you how to remove the throttle cable off of your Black Death motor with a carburetor. And then we're going to do it on an EFI, yes. and we'll give you a couple pointers. But really what you do, your, your, your nemesis on the throttle cable is the water and the moisture inside. Got it. So coffee, urination, <laughs> fire. torch, fire, all are, all are going to you know, kind of help you for the moment. But in the long term, you need to remove your throttle cable, grab a can of trusty WD-40, Insert straw into cable. Come on closer and I'm not going to do this because okay, I don't want, I don't want to show, ruin my show, shirt. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> but we're just going to take the WD-40. We're going to insert it into the cable housing. And you're just going to have the cable, of course, not tied up like I do. You're going to have it straight. And you're going to run it into a bucket. You don't want to run it under the ground. But if you have to, you have to. This will displace the water. Yeah. Which is the problem with a frozen throttle cable. WD-40, throttle cable, water gone. You don't have to worry about screaming across the water, out of control, panicking, figure out, do I pull the kill cord, do I kick the switch, or do you bail out? Right. Because you've prevented it from the get-go. So when you do that, how long will that last? How often does that need to happen? Uh, it depends on uh, the conditions and how much moisture you get. If you're in an area where you get a lot of snow and a lot of rain, um, when we show you how to remove the cables, we're also going to show you how to reinstall them. And you want to take grease and, you know, I forgot because we were panicking. You want to put a little <laughs> bit panics? of grease on each, no panicking. End, each end of the cable. I am. Ah. Each end of the cable when you reinstall it. And the, the grease will help prevent the water if you've got rain or snow when it hits the cable. That will help keep the water, keep the water out. out. Yes. But um, if you would do the WD-40 at the beginning of the season and you don't have too much problem with water, snow, moisture stuff, you should be okay for the... For the rest of the season. But if you feel a hang up at, at all, grab your can, pull off your cable, give it a bath. Give it's, it a bath. it's pretty simple. It WD-40 really is. WD-40 bath. So all of your ideas, 
They had some good merit. They had some merit. I'm going to say the guys in the shop did a good job. All right, all right. But personally, Keith <laughs> is going to take care of the cable before it gets too cold. Right now, Got it. when I went hunting two weeks ago, it was 62 degrees. Not really, not really need to do it, but coming up here pretty soon. So yeah. before I take the boat out the next time, I think we'll uh, pull out our trusty Dr. friend WD-40. Friend. And there are other things you can do. Use a little bit of antifreeze, antifreeze. with a syringe. That will work really well. Um, there's some um, applications out there with uh, chain lube kits that you can clamp onto the throttle cable. Right. So there's other ways. Those other ones that we saw earlier, they're quick minute fix. I shouldn't say fixes. It's a band aid. It's a yeah. hole in. It's a finger in the dike. That's yes. what it is. Right. And we don't want to do that. Got it. I don't want you to defrost it with a cup of coffee and shoot into the bank because yeah. your throttle cable stuck because you still have. You still have water in there. H2O is a killer in your throttle cable. Great to drink, but not fun. Not with your throttle cable. The, yeah, and All I'll right. wipe that up as we go. I, yeah, along. so um, let's show them how. Let's show them how to do that, and then we'll get to some of these questions real quick. Okay, let me let me grab Chase. Okay. We're going to uh, we're going to remove the throttle cable off a Black Death forty four. So any Makuni carbureted motor thirty five forty five. So we, all of these, this is kind of what you're going to do. I get questions asked, how do I remove the cable from the carburetor? It's right. pretty simple. I understand there's some guys that don't get that. Yeah, Their mechanic mm -hmm. skills are, are okay. <laughs> nice. uh -huh. And so we'll have Chase. We'll run over here to this one over here. Great. I'll have him pull the cable off and uh, just kind of pull it off. We'll stretch it out, and then he'll reinstall it. It's probably going to be like one to two minutes. We'll just do it real quick. So, Chase, let's go. Okay. So what? Tell me, what are you going to do first, Chase? First, I'm going to take the zip ties off. So we're going to we're going to remove the zip ties on your handle, and they're they're pretty easy to replace. They're um, very cheap. So and then you don't want to take it away from your lever. So we're gonna we're gonna remove it from the lever. And all he did, folks, was just simply pull, pull it, slide out through this right here, and lift. And then same as up here. Jump up here, Andrew. Out. This is this is I think where we get stuck the most, guys. You pull it out. And it comes down and pops out like so. And then when you are reapplying it, put a little bit of grease here and down here before you put them back in. We'll help them from rusting in the corrosion. You want me to go back up? Yeah. So we're just going to pop it back into the little wheel, up and over the the, the little uh, plastic weave wheel. We're going to jam it back into the throttle position holder. We're going to reroute. Now what you want to do is try to remember when you route the cable route it back the same way you have it we're going to show you a little trick that we've been taught by the owner glenn and this will help you prevent getting water and it's how you zip tie the cable and you get a bend to it so the water can't travel uphill so make sure you get your zip ties back on and you give it the little bend in the kink in the cable so the water can't travel up it water doesn't go uphill but make sure to before you fire it up and run out into the water, fire the motor up first, make sure that you've got the cable adjusted properly and back where it belongs and it doesn't fire up and you've got the throttle cable in the wrong position and the motor takes off screaming because you don't want to do that in the water. Yeah. It's going to cause panic. Panic in a boat in the middle of the winter. Sounds like something Keith would do. I've seen it happen. <laughs> <laughs> and I've heard it happen a lot. So we've just got the, the, the bend back up in the cable. So we've got the throttle lever lower. We've got a kink and a bend up into the cable that's higher. That will help keep the water out along with the grease that you're going to put into the lever and then back up into the top of the carburetor. So these, any motor with the Makuni carbs, either the single or the twins, are going to be right. a little bit more prone to water. Yeah. Now when we go over to the EFI, you really only have water in one place because the throttle assembly is underneath the air cleaner and the cable is out on the handle. So you've only right. got one really one real place, but still, don't push it, lube it, get the water out. Preventative maintenance. Preventative. Word of the day. Word of the day. It, it could come back and get you a prize. It's happened before. It has? Okay. All right, so let's do this other one. Let's go over here. We'll have to have, uh, Chase, let's just pull this out a little bit. So, Ambry, come over on this side, hon. So, it's kind of a little bit trickier on the EFIs because your throttle cable is up in here. So, it's just a little Z-bend on the throttle cable. So, after you've greased it or shot WD-40 through it, 
put a little bit of grease on here. You're going to reinstall it. And it's hard to see because that hose is away, but there's a hole back in here. And you're going to put the throttle cable back into it. Make sure you pay attention to the way it was routed before you remove it because you can put it in different locations and it may tend to pull it a little bit tighter. Then you're just going to readjust it here. You want to zip tie it first. Yeah. You want to zip tie it first because it'll add tension to the throttle so it'll yeah. always be giving it gas. And then just make sure when you pull the cable out of the throttle lever, put a little bit of grease onto it, slam it back in there. The grease will help the water and keep it out of your cable. So you won't have that tendency to be flying down the river, the creek, the lake, whatever you happen to be hunting in the marsh, you're not wide open and screaming. I don't want to hear a grown man scream because it doesn't sound like a grown man. <laughs> what are you smiling for? What are the I, comments just, coming uh, are people I, just, uh, There are some really great comments. You guys are so funny out there. It's making me laugh. Um, they're trying to be nice to our shop guys, really, is what it is. is it? They're trying to say, hey, guys, they're it's like, okay to it's dump a, They're coffee. okay. They're okay. I have to say, <laughs> between the the urination part and the and the uh, fire, I don't know what it is about guys and fire. That's just one of those things that you like to see. But if if you have to do it with a flame, slow. Um, if you don't believe me, uh, I heard a good story from my buddy Freddie King. Yeah. Who did that? And he removed some of the plastic housing. Not a good idea. But we won't talk anymore about old Freddie because. There's a new Freddy. We don't we don't subscribe to that. It's the new. It's we turned new. over all new leaves. We're using life jackets. We're doing smart We're things. Safety first. Safety, <laughs> safety first, first. Then teamwork. Exactly. So. Um, so for those of you just joining today, we've been talking about throttle cables. Um, definitely check back. Start over from the beginning of this because some really great information happening there. Also, like and share if you want to see more of these. Do hit we have the like any button. Questions because. Oh, we do. I'm about to get to these. We're going to give away a lot of our prizes. I do want to thank all of our sponsors. They're so great. Uh, Echo Calls, Tangle Free, XL Boats, Lucky Duck Decoys. They're awesome. How about Deep Apparel? Also Deep Apparel. Hey, come on now. What about right us? Here. And us, of course. You got the, you got that shirt on. Good for, good for you. Thank you. Promoting it's the a, show. It's promoting the show. <laughs> and it was free. Good job. Good job, Keith. Free. Really good. All right. Um... So let's get into some question and okay. answer and we'll give away some let's, stuff. Let's see. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm going to start back. Let's see. And, and if we have any good okay. stories how no. you get your cable done. Yes, absolutely. I, I love those because they're funny. Brooks Catmull actually, before we even started, had the very best answer so far. Um, and he said, he said, carry an extra one. I I was thinking that. Carry an extra one in it. As you were saying, Exactly. <laughs> A, a, a great, a great idea to have thing. a throttle cable. I'm going to take it a little bit farther. If you got a throttle cable, hey guys, thanks, we appreciate you. They're leaving. They didn't want to stick they around. They didn't want to stick around. They anymore. don't want. Oh, I felt that. What was going Get on? Get out of here! I think I lost some hair on that one, Jeffrey. It's nice and warm. <laughs> warm me up a little bit. Oh, uh, and you know, a throttle cable, kill switch, trim switch, clutch switch. Those are things in a Ziploc baggie that will make your hunting experience. A little bit just better. Just a little smooth. Just a little peace of mind. A little peace of mind. Preventative. Preventative maintenance in yes, a bag. Absolutely. Or a box. So hit up our buddy Travis at Backwater Performance. <laughs> he can get you a cable, switches, whatever you need. Uh -huh. Because I don't like to talk to angry duck hunters who are no. broke down because of a throttle cable, a trim switch. Yeah. I want them to be happy experiences. Happy, happy duck hunters. Happy That's duck what hunters. we want. Yes. And it, it's funny. Today I had a guy who... Something happened to his motor. We got him back up and going. It was a pretty simple little fix. He's like, it was a really a bummer, but we shot our limit, so it was okay. So it was okay. So it was okay. <laughs> the, the boat had a little bit of a wiring issue. We did a couple wire swaps, and we got him up and going, so yep. that was good. But he was happy because he shot he his shot. He got his limit. Get your limit. You're happy. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, Eric Terrazas, who is a fan of the show, big fan of Eric myself, he says, South Texas, mine is frozen. I need a new hat. To cover the cord. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Eric, come I got, on. I got one, Eric. I think we gave Eric a hat Eric, before. I think he's already got something? a hat. Eric, Eric, I'm Eric, gonna, I'm okay. gonna check because I don't want to send you a hat. If I, I think I already sent you a if sweet hat. If we sent you something, so we're I don't not gonna send, send you, it. But, but if we did, Eric, I appreciate it though. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you later. From the producer, like we haven't. I, I don't think so. All right, okay, do it, Eric. Be honest, Eric. Tangle free, Sitka. 
All right. Uh, it looks like a timber, a dark timber. timber. Looks like I the don't timber. Remember the name. So if you don't have any timber, it's still a great looking hat, and we appreciate the guys at Tangle Free. You got They're it. Amazing. Eric, as soon as this ends, I apologize to everybody out there. I didn't put the link at the oh, top of the. Jeff. You, we were panicking. I you know. said I, we just can't. We were panicking, but I didn't put that link up. So as soon as this ends, I'm gonna add the link to the top of this post. Click that and uh, fill out that info. We'll get that sent off to you, Eric. You're the man. Thanks for watching. Uh, Harlan Travis is on. You already said Travis was on. Wait till it comes. Oh, I got John Kaus ordered a 1754 um, shallow water and every option with a 40 horsepower anniversary edition. Yes. I love that anniversary. Now, I can't edition. wait till it comes in. I'll find open water here in Minnesota somewhere. Somewhere you better find hey, that, I'm sure. Hats off to our guys in Minnesota. I love Minnesota. I love my Vikings. You and your Vikings. And I love my family in Minnesota. Yeah. They're yeah. probably not watching because they're not duck hunters. Rude. They should. They should. They I'll have to send them a message. I know. You should get those on. But um, Bob Dreyer was being really nice to uh, Chase. And he Chase. was like, it's okay to spill coffee on the floor. He's like, it'll clean up, yeah. everybody. Be nice. Yeah, it will, but it's a brand new shop floor. It is a brand new shop floor. And you don't pour coffee on your brand new shop on floor. Your brand new shop floor. Well, it doesn't look really new. Um, <laughs> John Shantz, what percentage off do you get for a coffee-soaked cable? <laughs> you pay double. <laughs> Um, Hunter Dillon, loving my new 5000 EFI. That's such a great motor. We need to run oh, our some more. We haven't caught... We, we're keep... almost to the breaking periods over. I know. And then we're going to run it. I think later this week maybe later we might get week. out. So keep an eye out. We might be out there. Are we going to go hunting or are we just going to go run around? I don't know. Either or. Both. Whatever it takes. I, I just got to get out of here on Friday. Like We, just, we need to get out. Jackson yes. Hill, will road flares work? <laughs> hey, if you don't melt the housing off it, I guess you do what you have to do. But I'm going to go back to my favorite word, and that is preventative. So I'm going to right. say the first person who comes back with the word of the day, I'm going to go Lucky Duck coffee mug. So word I of the day, better... first one, you're going to get our coveted Lucky Duck coveted... coffee tumbler, which will help you. When your co cable freezes, but don't use it. Don't use your coffee for cable. Use something else. You, yes. Use preventative Drink maintenance. Drink your coffee. Don't dump your coffee. That's mean. <laughs> Unless you coffee. have a full thermos. Unless you. Uh. But if some of the guys that I hunt with, sometimes their coffee has more than coffee, so I'm not sure if it will yeah, will well, help with that. You know. Jackson Hill, wait. You don't carry a torch on your boat? <laughs> no, I don't carry any type of flame throwing instrument on my boat. Uh, yes, I would carry of, a stove, though. You know, actually, a lot of these comments too are people who do actually know the right answers. So they're they're good. You'll have to they're go good. through these. You'll be. You, I, I, I think will. you'll be really happy with all of our fans of how good they actually are. It probably won't be today anytime because I'm sure when I get back into the office, it'll be catch up on the phone calls. So mm -hmm. maybe when I'm sitting at home and the wife's grading her papers because she's a teacher, right? I'll pull out my Facebook and uh, kind of go through the. Perfect. Go through and answer a few questions. Yeah, there you go. See what's going on. See the comments. Luke Powell, we use de-icer for a temporary fix. You know what? One of the other guys brought that up today, and I hadn't thought of that. A great option. Yeah. It's going to remove the water, because here in Utah and those other places, you know, you put that stuff in your uh, windshield washer fluid, and when you get up and your ice shields, your windshield's yeah. frozen, you yes. just squirt it, and... It's gone. So I, I think that would work pretty good. Yeah, we'll have to try that one. next time. All right, Luke Powell, I got a, I got a deep cozy right here for you. Keep you warm. Is it cozy or koozy? I don't, I don't know. Koozie? I thought it was koozy. I think you're right. We'll I think it cozy. is a koozy. <laughs> cozy? Cozy? cozy is it warm? a koozy or cozy? T uh, type it in now. Koozy or cozy? I, I, I have think, no I idea. Think I'm going with koozy, not cozy. Is it a cozy or a koozy? <laughs> I think I've lost my mind. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Trey Wood says best preventative is being a broke college student can't afford the boat <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> your, your throttle cable will never freeze you'll never freeze but never freeze when you get out of college and you pay off some of your debt yes you can buy a mud buddy buy you'll buddy. already know <laughs> yes. what to do before it gets you, cold you will never freeze one because you, you will know you will know so hey thanks for watching yeah absolutely um, okay, let's see here. <laughs> people love the hats. I'm getting a lot of comments. People, I uh, the guys from Illumilite 
Woohoo, we oh, love Nick. we love these guys. Yes. Tell Keith I need a hat. <laughs> Nick, I no. need a boat with three motors <laughs> for under ten thousand. All right, here's an actual real question. Richard Rillo, how long should you let your motor warm up? You know, it depends on the area. I mean, yeah. I've gone out where it's a couple minutes up to five or ten minutes. So just depends. I mean, the colder it is, the longer you are to warm up. And that's nice about these engines. They've got a choke. They'll start easy. The EFIs start really easy. Yeah. So the warmer, the better when you go to take off. Sure. Everything's warm and ready to go. Which is why I prefer the EFI over a carbureted model myself. Okay. I know. I don't, that tone. <laughs> no, Ooh, they're, they're both. condescending <laughs> tone. <laughs> they're I both. I love them both. I love them both. All right. Uh, let's see. It was Bob Dreyer, preventative maintenance. He said it first. Okay. On my list of comments, Bob, Bob Dreyer's up. So, Bob, Bob lucky you, get duck. The, you get the tumbler. Don't use it to dump coffee Bob, on Bob's, your... Bob's one of my favorites. I really, Bob's always on. I know. Bob's always on. Bob is Hey, Bob, come on out to I, Mud Buddy. We'll hook you up yes. with a tour. We'll put you on the show. We'll with, put you on the show and embarrass the guys. crap out of you. <laughs> <laughs> And hopefully Ricky won't be running around with that little flamethrower or whatever he's oh got. Oh, my God. You never know. No, you don't. It's always a surprise element. Uh, Taylor Lightsey, famous word of the day is Keith. So he's <laughs> sucking up <laughs> hey, so Taylor, hard. Hey, Taylor, how, how you man. doing, man? Hey, he's one of our great customers. Always got kind, positive things to say, and he appreciates what I do. <laughs> it's <a> short. <laughs> Sometimes Some, that's hard to, to find. <laughs> Rick Hill Hillicos, live from a tree stand in Michigan. What are you doing in a tree stand? Yes, take a picture and post it on this. Are you take a picture like right shooting? now, put it up there, and I will send you. Um, send him something it's, if you post a picture. Hey, if you see a tree picture, stand, though. he needs something to. What is this one? I think that's the. I think that's, that's the. Strap. Oh, this is the a duck strap. strap. Hey. No, don't give him that. Well, let's how about. Oh. How about the sick hat Sitka right hat. here? Going out for the tree stand for a picture. For a picture. I really want a picture though. Sitka, XL, hat. For the guy in the tree stand. Yes. Is he hunting large animals or are they flying? I'm assuming it's I'm, more like I'm thinking a deer. something big, probably a deer stand. Yeah. yeah. I'm guessing. Um, okay, so on the koozie cozy situation. Koozie cozy. Koozie cozy. Um, Alumalite guys, they say cozy. Cozy. Um, but Brandon Webb says koozie. Bob Dreyer says cozy. I'm not sure that. <laughs> I, we got some different spellings here. So I'm thinking he's saying koozie. Quentin says koozie. John Cow says beer bicket. Beer Bicket. I've hey, never heard that one. I've before. never heard that one either. Um, we, I think Koozie is winning out. Koozie? I think it is Koozie. Well, it's probably Koozie, but it's cozy when you're right. holding it because your hand's warmer because of the Koozie. Yes. Insulated. There Whatever. we go. How about that? How about how about we get a like and share? Have we had any like and shares? We need some like and shares. I, I you know, we, I can't see right where I am, but you should be liking and you should be sharing. We need you to get... Because we, we like it when you share. Yes. You share... We get more friends, <laughs> and we like friends. We want friends, exactly. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Hold on. Talk amongst yourself for a second. got to read through this. Make sure. Oh, it looks like a long one. Oh, John. John Shans. He did it. What did he do? Oh, he got pranked. Did he get pranked? He did. My brother, he says, my brother got me with one better than the circuit breaker cutoff. He had me for a good five minutes by flipping it into gear. Had me hotter than heck. No video, though. Oh, man, that's too bad. That's awesome, though. John, I know. It's the worst when you get punked with that stupid switch. Uh, uh, either the the, oh. trims, the, the the clutch switch, the coveted new 120-amp breaker switch. And talking about switches, I'm not going to go into any detail other than a customer <laughs> took his motor to a shop that I recommended uh -huh. uh, because his motor wouldn't start. You know what it was? It was the switch. It was the switch. It's the breaker switch. Uh -huh. No, That's... no, it wasn't the breaker switch. It was, oh, it was the, clutch the actual switch. clutch switch. It was the actual clutch switch. He took oh, it into man. a shop to have it repaired. That is after we kind of went down the whole thing, and yeah. So, and you know what? It happens. I've been out there before, and it's like, what is going on? Oh, then you can remember I get it to start. You know, I before I got this comfy little job that I have, <laughs> I ran, I, I ran and tested motors for seven years, and there was right. on more than one occasion. We're the stupid just, kill cord wasn't yeah, hooked up. kill cord. The Absolutely. transmission was in, so it happens to everybody, it, even the best of us. It happens to the best of us. So, I, John Chance, as soon as this is over, I'm going to send you the, uh, what was it, the duck strap. The duck I'm strap. I'm sending that for you because I feel your pain. You're going to need that. So, that is for you. 
John, appreciate you sharing the story. Next time, video. Photos. That would Tell be, brother, that, that have been so funny. I know. That would have been awesome. Was there any... Thing that could have been, should have, was said that shouldn't have been said? Yeah, John? I want to hear say, like, how many cuss words. Yeah. <laughs> how blue um, was that air when he was done? Right. Jason Blanford, hypodermic needle to squirt antifreeze into the cable. It's a really great I like option. that one. That's yes. a good one. Preventative maintenance. <laughs> Pop Dryer says he's going to use his, uh, his new tumbler for vodka. So Whatever what you want to put in it, as long as you don't it'll waste... Keep, it'll keep it cold. Yeah. It'll keep your vodka nice and cold. Don't use it on I the hear. throttle cable. I hear. You hear. I hear. Um, Ricky asking. Ricky's asking if I'm going to blow the call again. When I get better, maybe. What if one day I show up? And I think I said this before. What if one day I show up and I'm like better than Travis, you, me? Well, that wouldn't take a whole lot. <laughs> hey, I could hook you up with Travis. It's fifty bucks an hour, and you can learn to call birds like that. Right. But you pay me the fifty bucks, and I'll cover Travis's little portion. <laughs> About ten dollars. Got it. <laughs> you get a five minute lesson for fifty bucks. <laughs> but from one of the best guys we know around this area to Tra- call. Yeah, yes, the best. And a good friend. All right, Jackson Hill. Hey, I have a thirteen horse Honda M- uh-huh. Honda Mud Buddy? Uh-huh. Okay. It's a Honda engine. Oh got it. Okay. I have a thirteen horse Honda Mud Buddy and was curious how to tell when I need a new prop and which prop I should be using when I do need a new one. Good question. What kind is it a long if it's a long tail? Um, the best way to tell how a prop is going, losing its life, we'll, we'll call it losing its, shortening its life. Shortening its life. So when you get a new prop, you watch your RPMs, you've got really lower RPMs, the motor's running really good. When the prop starts to wear out, you're going to lose speed and right. RPMs are going to go through the roof. Yes. That's, so that's a good indication. Just a lot of what you can tell is just by listening to the pitch of the engine and and running it um right. also you what you can do is take and maybe we'll do this in a one in an episode oh. down the road it'll be a quick one and you it can is measure a long the tail. prop you just said it was it a, is long a long tail. Tail. yes it is you a can long measure tail. the length of the prop um there's nine fives nine sixes and nine sevens right. so depending he's probably running a nine by five so if he's down to eight inches or in length or more it's time for a new prop got it most people think their prop's still good and it's not um, Richard Rouleau just got in trouble at work for watching. Richard, good so, job, bro. Yes. Thanks. We appreciate, we appreciate it. it. That's sacrifice. <laughs> True sacrifice. <laughs> Love it. Um, let's see. How far should I put the... Okay. In straight up open water, how far should you put the prop in the water for maximum performance? You're going to play with that a little bit. Yes. Um, it's a surface drive. So I would say roughly around 50% of your prop will be out of the water. So if you can see that prop spinning... You're going to see, you would see half the prop by the water. You're going to be throwing a nice rooster tail. And you can tell it's one of those things, the more you run it, the you can feel when it's too far out of the water, too far under the water. And right. You just kind of, kind of feel and play with it. But normally, on a surface drive, half the prop is out of the water when you're spinning. Got it. Um, Jeffrey Winters, come to Florida and hunt with us. Jeffrey. Florida, it'll be so warm. Let's go there. Let's get out of this cold. Yeah, but if it's warm and their ducks are flying, the mosquitoes, I'll guarantee you. What's a little bug spray? I'll, I don't like maybe the we smell can see of bug gate. spray. We can maybe see a gator. If we're going to see go. it, let's hunt it. All right. Someday. We Jeffrey, pre- I'm going to keep it in mind. Well, we'll appreciate that. Just send the airline tickets to um. attention to Captain <laughs> Jeff, my buddy, and we'll, we'll get the time off if you send the tickets. <laughs> yeah. Man. <laughs> Um, Rick Hill- Hillicoss, who was in the tree stand, he's trying to get pictures. Okay, so good I, got, job. I got you covered. As soon as this is over, keep an eye out for that link and uh, click that and get out your information. We'll get Be that out careful about oh, okay. taking a picture in the stand. I don't want to fall out. Don't I don't fall want out. to see him fall out. And don't drop your phone. And don't he's drop safe, your phone you know. your camera. Okay, let's see. We're going to wind down here. There's a 5 HD print. But that means i got to go back to the phones. I know. You're we gonna still have some stuff to give away. I got, we have one. We got, we got one more. Man, I, I love so the many way good ones here. These and smiles. It's like it's almost kind of scary. It's like, what are you gonna throw at me, Jeffrey? Am I gonna know? I, I know. Let's see. Okay, uh, twenty-seven mud buddy on a grizzly sixteen forty-seven. What size prop is the best? Is it a long tail or surface drive? I, 
you kind of need to know what model it is. Yeah, because um, that will... A long tail... If it's a long tail 25, um, probably a 9x7. Um, if you're running a mini, it's a 11 by 10 um, Also, if it's a sport um, HD, you could run the 11 by 10 or maybe even possibly my favorite prop, the big blades. The big blades. So it just kind of depends on what motor you have. So... We need like a theme song for the big blade. The big blade. Every time you say it, it could just it, like play or hey, something. You could do that. I could. I could. I actually could. All right. Uh, let me get a new service drive. Can I get it for you? Okay. Uh, from Brandon Seeley, if I'm looking to get a new surface drive, can I get a 40 horsepower surface drive? Can I swap the exhaust it comes with and pay a difference for it? So I guess he's looking for an like an upgrade before he gets it. If you buy the anniversary edition 40 horse, you get the upgraded from the stock perform the stock muffler yes. to the Q. To the Q. If you wanted to go with something else, that would be something you would probably have to work out with somebody because we have the stock mufflers, we have the Q mufflers. Right. So, so anything beyond that, there beyond you need that, to talk to somebody yeah, else. Yeah, somebody else. That's Got it. kind of out of our realm. Sure. But we're glad you asked, and we hope you buy that Mud Buddy 40 yeah, anniversary. It's a, it's a great motor. Hey, you know what? Beanie's got a new 40. Beanie's I'm going with a, yeah. Mallard Madness number 12. Oh, look at that. I didn't know this. Dry ice? So is there no moisture in dry ice? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know either. I have, I, what, do I look like a chemist? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> All right. Maybe in your former life you were a chemist. Maybe, I don't maybe. know. Maybe. I went to school so or we're something. Go, yeah, we're going... <laughs> <laughs> we're going with the Mallard Madness. Mallard Rick, Madness. Rick Dunn and the boys at Echo Calls. For they do an amazing job. Brandon, that is for you. Brandon Seeley, that is yours. Click the link, and we'll get that sent off. Um, let's see. Just a couple more, and we are about done. We're going to wrap this up. What size surface drive would you recommend for a 1448 Grizzly? 14-foot 14 14-foot 14 boat. 14 foot boat 48. 30, 35. Little big. Too big? Little big. Is there ever such a thing, Keith? Well, if is you, there ever such Jeffrey, a thing? I want your opinion right Jeffrey, now. Jeffrey, last year, no, <laughs> but this year we're being a little more safe conscious. Ah. So, yes. 1448 Grizzly. Um, a long tail would be a good one. Long Surface tail. drive would be a mini. Okay. A 23 mini, a 26 and a half EFI mini. Those would be good options. Right. Now, to run a 35, you probably got to go you 16 foot, 16, a little uh, bit heavier. Right, and fine. especially if he's running a 1448 riveted boat. You definitely want to go with the lighter mode. Right. For you sure. You want to be safe. I'm not familiar so much with those grizzlies, I know. so I'm not sure how I, light that boat is. They're for, but, you know, bigger the better. That's what I say. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I agree on most things, but, but not, not with safety. <laughs> Why are they <laughs> laughing over there? Our producer's over here behind I know, the camera. I know. They're just, so funny. She's just smiling. So, uh, we're going we're gonna to end it there with the questions. Thank you, everybody. Keith is going to do his very best to get to the rest of those questions questions i too will kind of keep an eye on it and pass those along anything that i and, might have an idea on and, and our good friend travis he's watching and our good so. friend travis always knows those answers so i do want to remind everybody a big reminder um this is one of the last weeks to enter our 25th anniversary giveaway if you have not done that or if you haven't done all five steps because you can enter i think it's five times five times yes there are five options that you can do it, it's, Five hard, it's hard for me to get excited about that because I can't win. I know you can't win. I know. I know. Try and drum up a little excitement for these okay, people. Okay, cool. It's a big people. deal. It is. It's right? a great deal. So the last day is 11.59 on Halloween, the witching hour. It's your last chance to enter. And then after that, it's, you know, it's no more chances to enter. And then we're going to get so, somebody a new boat. What are we doing next week on Halloween? So, Do you have something drummed up that you're not going to tell us? <laughs> oh, man. Because I'm a little nervous here. <laughs> next week is Halloween. It yes. was actually Halloween Day. will be our next show. candy away. We can ship them candy? Can we ship them candy? Or we can ship them anything. Duck hunters love candy. <laughs> Good in the blind when Good you're sitting the there waiting for something to happen. So um, definitely tune in next week because we're going to have some Halloween fun. What are you going for Halloween? What are, you, are you dressing up? I'm what are just you doing? dressing up as an old man. <laughs> Boring. I know. Lame, Keith. I'm just. A, I, and my kids would tell you the exact same thing. All five girls. All five girls. You know, I would at least go out with them, but I never participated. I was not one of those dads who would dress up All right. and take them around. Sorry. Well, I want to hear. Uh, maybe maybe they need to get you some suggestions. What do you think? No Keith? suggestions. Yes. No. In fact, why didn't I think of this before? I want to hear suggestions. What should Keith be for Halloween? Maybe I'll, I'll come to work as a shotgun shell. 
You know, okay. I'll do sure. I'll do I'll do some brass paint around <laughs> the lower part of my pants and red wear red or black the rest of the way up. Sure. Something like that. Do you know what I'm going for for Halloween? No. I'm going as Keith. <laughs> You're too short. Those nuts, it's Halloween costume. No. I don't, I don't have to be exact. I'm going to get a big gray beard. <laughs> and, be gr- yeah, every, every <laughs> and I'm going to get gray. stilts. I'm going to get stilts and a big gray beard. I'm friend. coming as Keith. And all day Wednesday, next Wednesday, I'll answer the phone for you. Oh, did you guys hear that? <laughs> you heard it. It will not be me on the question. phone. It will be Jeffrey. So <laughs> careful to Hopefully what your, you uh, the uh, answers you're giving uh, to your questions. Yeah. Well, excellent. <laughs> I think that's a good a place to end it as any. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I'm Keith. Just kidding. I, I have to say, I'm not sure. I know. I will be Keith. What is, will. That's why I'm going as Next for Halloween. Week. Yes. Okay. And it's all going to come true. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great, safe week. And we're going to see you right back here in the shallow water on Wednesday. Wednesday it is. Peace out.